everybody, it's the Lawn Gnome, and welcome to your August 2020 Funko Pop update. Well, yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I've got a new Funko shirt on. Because of the fact that we are celebrating everything that is turning up Batman in the world of comics with the Joker-centric Joker War storyline right now in full swing, I felt that it was only right to feature my brand new Funko t-shirt, which I got from Hot Topic, and I'm pretty sure you'll be seeing it a lot sooner in future updates. But anyway, today, of course, we're going to be talking about all of the brand new exciting things that are coming out from Funko's world, as well as a little bit more into my own ever-growing collection. Now, if you've watched my shelf tour recently, you saw my entire Funko Pop collection at the time. Well, thanks to the recent Funko Pop updates, you are also seeing some of the additions that are coming into my collection. I will admit about the fact that my collecting has definitely slowed down a bit, but that's not because of the fact that I have anything against Funko and their products. It's just because of the fact that there are not as many things that they are turning into Funkos that really are grabbing my attention, but those that are are definitely being pre-ordered or picked up at stores and joining my collection. I'm also happy to say that you will soon see the new edition that I got from San Diego Comic-Con. I did manage to get my hands on the one Funko Pop that I wanted, and it will show up in another themed collection update as it usually is, but before we get into the news, of the new things that were revealed at Virtual Con 3, as well as some of the new lines and exclusives that are coming out. Of course, we got to take a look at how my collection has been going. So if there was anything that I thought I was going to feature in regards to my collection, it's the fact that after so much waiting and patience, sports are back, particularly the nation's pastime. Baseball has returned as best as it possibly can. I'm sure that you're all keeping up with your favorite teams and what's going on on the news with the Miami Marlins and the Philadelphia Phillies, but I am just glad to know that sports are such a big part of Funko's world because sports is fandom. Everybody loves their iconic teams, their famous figures, and I am just so glad. There's got to be a Mets fan working for this company there because they really are giving me Mets players. When it comes to new waves of MLB, they really are keeping in balance with Yankee players, and I really do like that. And I'm just glad to know that I didn't get just one Met, but two Mets in the newest wave, and I am just so glad that they're here, and I'm glad to have them as part of my collection. Of course, we're going to start off with Jacob deGrom, the two-time Cy Young Award winner, and I wish that he didn't get a haircut, because it would have just been so cool to see that red mane of flowing hair, very similarly to the fact that we do also have a Noah Syndergaard pop in this collection, and he does have his 5 o'clock shadow and the mane of blonde hair, also known as Thor, but you know what, either way, I'm just glad that we have Jacob deGrom, because he is definitely one of my favorite players and one of the best pitchers the Mets have seen in recent years. It's very similar to the Noah Syndergaard, he's got the little mound over here with the pitcher's square in the back, and of course, he's got himself ready to throw out a ball. I like the details on the uniform. If we turn it around, you've got his name and number, and I also love how he's got his hand on the ball ready to pitch, and it's all in all a good pop. I mean, the thing about the sports pops is they're not the greatest of designs, but it's really more about the person that the figure is made of, and people just get happy actually having some of their favorite players. But along with the two-time Cy Young Award winner, we've also got the 2019 Rookie of the Year, the Polar Bear, Pete Alonso. Knowing that he was going to become a Funko Pop, I was so excited to know that he was going to because also I don't have a baseball pop that actually is in this pose, so it was, I was actually glad not to have another pitcher, and I love the details. First of all, we got the 5 o'clock shadow, and I love the design of the helmet. I love this new design. It's just so sleek and so interesting, and I just love the details. I mean, obviously, the big 20 on the front, and when you turn him around, we've got Alonso on the back, and I like how he's got the bat, basically keeping himself up and supported, and it's a beautiful pop. So glad that they made 
him, along with Jacob deGrom. I'm really curious to know about when there is going to be another wave of baseball, because I know that recently we got new waves of football and basketball and hockey, like we always do, and I'm always on the lookout for more players in regards to the teams that I support. So that's what's been going on in my collection, everybody. Let's take a look at the news. So let's begin with what was going on with the Funko shop, and there's definitely been a lot going on because of the fact that Funko recently recreated and revamped their shopping experience, and it did not bode very well at the very beginning, especially with the first pop that was featured as an exclusive on the shop, which was Dwight Schrute holding the Princess Unicorn doll from The Office. It was an absolute disaster, and there were so many complaints, and it got to the point where during Virtual Con 3, Brian Mariotti, the CEO, would actually make a video on the Funko Twitter page apologizing for all the issues that people were having with shopping and hoping that everything would be rectified. But there was a lot of good stuff, including Toshi, the Shiba Inu Samurai Warrior from Pops Around the World, as well as another alien remix from Disney Pixar as Bullseye. But the two Pops that came out recently, I had to get my hands on them because I knew that they were going to sell out really quickly. As a matter of fact, they sold out in 20 minutes because when it comes to Hanna-Barbera, these things are going to sell fast. And also because it was Johnny and Haji from Johnny Quest, which is a show that I loved as a kid. Now, I know there was only one season of Johnny Quest from the 1960s, but not that many people remember the 1980 season that premiered during the Fantastic World of Hanna-Barbera, which I watched, and that's how I discovered Johnny Quest. And I also watched all of the two seasons of The Real Adventures of Johnny Quest. Such an awesome show, one of Hanna-Barbera's best, as far as I'm concerned. So when I saw that Johnny and Haji were going to be coming out, and also because of the fact that Johnny was going to be coming with his dog Bandit, I knew I was going to have to try for them, and I got them. I'm so happy. They're in my collection now. I am so excited to show it to you guys as soon as I get to another pop video in the future, but you will see them as part of my collection very soon. Also, there were a lot of interesting Disney-themed pops that were announced, especially considering with what was going on with Splash Mountain, the pop ride of Splash Mountain with Br'er Bear and Br'er Rabbit on the log flume, and the Splash Mountain triple pack, which included Br'er Bear, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Rabbit, is now skyrocketing in price on eBay because of the fact that these characters are no longer going to be in existence at the Disney parks because they are changing Splash Mountain's entire theme to Princess and the Frog. So, I don't think that I was upset about the fact that I didn't get one of those because for some strange reason I kind of felt that these pops were going to be in such high demand because I felt that Splash Mountain was going to get revamped because if Song of the South is not coming out on Disney Plus even at this point in time, why would these characters even exist? So they gave us a new Jungle Cruise theme park exclusive as well as Chip Blowing Bubbles with Pop in a Box and Billy Butcherson from Hocus Pocus at Spirit. Also, a lot of interesting Marvel Pops were introduced thanks to Pop in a Box and PX Previews exclusives, including one that was only available on the Pop in a Box website for 30 minutes. And it was a metallic Deadpool Venom, but we also got Mayhem and Ironheart. And at PX Previews, we got the infamous Iron Man and one pop that looks good. Gorgeous, especially considering the fact that I just read the comic. It is the Absolute Carnage comic book moment, which is the cover of Absolute Carnage 1. Part of me sort of wants to get it, but part of me is saying I don't think I'm as huge of a Carnage fan to get my hands on it, even though I did get the McFarlane Spider-Man vs. Venom, but I am not going to deny the fact that this pop is absolutely stunning, and if you are a fan of Absolute Carnage, I'm not going to be surprised if you went out and got your hands on it. Also, a lot of very interesting themed pops were announced in the world of DC. We got a four set of Breast Cancer Awareness Month Funko Pops, which I think is wonderful, although I don't think any of these heroes, except for Harley Quinn, look good in pink at all. So we've got Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, and Harley Quinn, but we've also got the Target-exclusive Batman art series. Very interesting, and I have to admit the one that I like is the third one in the set because it is themed after the 1966 Batman show, though I have no interest in getting these, but I have a feeling that people will definitely buy them because these are really beautiful pieces, and I also... 
am sure there are more coming. Also, a lot of t-shirts were announced, including more Venomized Pop t-shirt packs with Pops, as well as Office t-shirts with Pocket Pops. And we also got some more exclusives to FYE, I believe. There is a My Hero Academia box, as well as a Child's Play box, each with a Pop. Also, the announcement of the 80th anniversary Blu-ray set of Bugs Bunny called What's Up Doc, which is some of Bugs Bunny's greatest cartoons. Congratulations to Bugs Bunny on his 80th birthday. And it's also going to include a Diamond Collection Bugs Bunny pop. Also, the pop comedians line, which started with Gabriel Iglesias, a.k.a. Fluffy, is expanding. We've got another version of Gabriel Iglesias, as well as Jeff Dunham with Peanut and Joe Coy. You can get them on their exclusive websites. Target is also adding two exclusives, including a Diamond Edition Energizer Bunny, as well as M5R3, which is a red R5 droid. Also, Amazon is expanding on their two combining deluxe sets, including the newest addition to Avengers Assemble, which is Black Widow. This set is coming along quite nicely, which means there's only one more to go, and clearly, based on all of the Avengers that we've gotten so far, the last one is Captain America. But the real mystery is the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back set, which is the battle at Echo Base. We are getting a flocked snow-covered Chewy. This is an interesting set. I don't even know if these actually assemble like the Avengers set does, but I am curious as to what the final product is going to look like when all of them are made. Also, I'm not even sure how many of them are even coming. Also, there is a new collection coming out thanks to Box Lunch. They're starting it up with, I think it's called Marvel Eats the World, where superheroes have food themes. So it's starting with a Box Lunch exclusive of Spider-Man holding a pizza box. We also have some very interesting additions coming, in including a DIY Good Luck Troll, as well as two new additions to the Sour Patch Kids set, I believe. These are exclusives, but I'm not exactly sure where, because they only just said that they are limited editions. And it is strawberry-flavored and grape-flavored. GameStop is also including a couple of new additions to their games collection, and one of them is Ghosts of Tsushima. There's also going to be a Blood Splatter edition of that one, and there's also going to be a new Kratos. Hot Topic is also including a new Gerard Way from My Chemical Romance, and he is going to be available for purchase very, very soon. I believe he is already up for pre-order on Hot Topic's website, but he is coming out, I believe, in October or November. And of course, we've got some new additions to the My Hero Academia line, which just continues to expand like crazy, including a brand new 10-inch supersized pop of the All Might, and two new exclusives from GameStop and Box Lunch. We knew that there was a new Hello Kitty line, but there was also... The Hello Kitty Kaiju line. I mentioned that there was a line coming because there is an exclusive from San Diego Comic-Con's Virgicon 3, but now we can finally take a look at the entire set, and there's also going to be a glow-in-the-dark Target exclusive and a Diamond Edition collection from the Funko Shop. We've got new Pokemon coming. I mean, come on. This line, I knew when they first finally announced that Pokemon were becoming Funko's, there was no way that these were going to stop. You got to catch them all. So we're going to be getting a new version of Eevee, and we're going to be getting its first three evolutions, which are Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon, as well as a Pikachu the size of a small child, if you want it. Also, we mentioned this last time, the Disney Archives collection. There was an Amazon-exclusive quintuple pack, which included each of these five versions of Mickey Mouse together drawing each other. Now, they are going to be commons, singular, and they're going to be available everywhere. And there is a big 50 on each of the boxes, and the 50 represents the 50th anniversary celebration of the Walt Disney Archives. And now let's get into some of the things that were announced at Funko Fun Days during the Virtual Con. As you can see, there's a beautiful picture on the right with Mike Becker, the founder of Funko, and he was showing us the brand new Soda Can collection. We have got Batgirl, Michelangelo, Jean Lafoot, and Woody Woodpecker, and of course each of these go with a chase, but those were the only ones that they announced Officially, there's also a whole bunch that were teased over at Funko Fun Days, and some of them include Chili Willy, Samurai Jack, and all four members of KISS. Pretty cool. 
And then as VirtuaCon continued with Funko Fun Days, we got some awesome announcements. One of them was the 65th anniversary of Walt Disneyland, and they are celebrating like I expected them to. You are going to get a whole new bunch of Matterhorn Pops, and I believe that these are exclusives to the park. One of them is a pop ride of Donald on the Matterhorn, because we've already got the Yeti on the Matterhorn, Mickey on the Matterhorn, so why not get Donald as well? Also, there's going to be something that Funko has never done before, and it is a whole combining train set. Much like Avengers Assemble, but this is where you can actually hook them up and put them on display, and all of the famed Disney characters, including Dumbo, are all riding Casey Jr. from Dumbo. And there is going to be an exclusive at Amazon.com, and it is mini in the caboose. It is also the 65th anniversary of... Alice in Wonderland. Can you believe it? So because we are celebrating two big anniversaries, you can get a new version of Alice and the Cheshire Cat. I don't know exactly what they are. I think they're glow-in-the-darks or alternative colors or something, but there's also going to be a Target exclusive of Mad Hatter on the teacup ride. So if you've got your Alice and you've got your Cheshire Cat, you can also connect another one of them, and that, of course, is the Mad Hatter. Not going to be surprised if the March Hare and the Dormouse are next, maybe even the Queen of Hearts, but we will see. One of the pop series that people had no idea if it was real or if it was ever going to come out, well, Funko officially made the announcement at VirtuCon 3 that it is finally happening. The Ad Icon Legends, Ronald McDonald and Friends, they are coming. Finally, so many people are excited. So you can get Ronald McDonald, Grimace, Hamburglar, the Mayor McCheese, and Officer Big Mac, and you can get them individually, but if you really want to get something interesting, you can get the Quintuple Pack, which includes all five of them, and this is only going to be available over at McDonald's website. This is also a first, the fact that a restaurant is going to be offering an exclusive set. So, I have no intentions of getting these pops. I've honestly only eaten McDonald's two times in my life. And honestly, I didn't think it was anything special. But I know how iconic these characters are. And, and as part of the Ad Icon collection, I know for a solid fact that these are going to sell. And I'm not going to be surprised if this line gets expanded because there are still a couple of characters they have not given us. They also announced... Something really special over at VirtuCon, and because of the fact that they gave us the official glam shots literally earlier this week on July 31st when they announced them a week before, I thought it would be better just to give you guys the nice glam shots. So they are making a retro toys line, and I think that that is absolutely amazing because... Like movies, like TV, toys are just as popular in the world of pop culture, so why not bring back some of the most amazing and favorite toys amongst generations? So, we are going to be getting truly classic toys like Mr. Potato Head and Stretch Armstrong with a chase, and we are even getting some 1980s G.I. Joe characters like Shipwreck and Zoltan. There's also going to be a Target exclusive of Mr. Potato Head and... My wife actually said this to me. She's like, why do they need to make Barbie Pops? Barbie's already a doll. Well, the theme is retro toys, so why shouldn't Barbie be immortalized in Funko Pop form? Um, clearly, this doesn't really look much like Barbie when you compare her to the actual toy, but the fact that Barbie is going to be on the box... Fans of the toy line, which has been one of the most successful for young girls all over the world, why wouldn't people buy them? I don't know. But also got some more retro toy stuff that was featured over at VirtuCon, and these are going to be expanding board game characters. We're getting two new Rich Uncle Penny bags from Monopoly, including the Get Out of Jail Free card version of him, which is definitely cool. But we're also getting Clue, and not many people actually knew who these characters were, but I know that that is Mrs. White and Mr. Green. But... I have to be honest with you guys, this is great, but I would much prefer some movie versions of Clue Pops. Like, come on, Tim Curry is Wadsworth. I want that pop. Guys, make it, please. Make it happen.
And they also gave us another tease at the second wave of the Retro Toys. We are going to be getting Popples. I remember Popples, do you? We're also going to be getting classic 1980s Transformers. They've only showed us Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, but they said these are not going to be it. There's going to be more coming. And we're also going to be getting Mrs. Potato Head and a Furby. And probably one of the biggest announcements that they gave us, which made me so excited, was not only are we actually getting two pops of Mike Becker and Brian Mariotti celebrating the theme of Funko Fun Days 2021, but they have officially announced that Making Fun, the story of Funko, is going to be made into a DVD Blu-ray pack, and it is may include a special pop. So I have to say that I have watched this documentary when it was on Netflix countless times. I loved it. It is wonderful. It's heartwarming, and it's something that everybody should see, especially if you are a Funko fan. And the fact that they are finally making this on Blu-ray because it's not on Netflix anymore, I would love to get myself a copy. And based on the silhouette, I wouldn't be surprised if the pop is either Mike Becker or Brian Mariotti, and I would love to get my hands on this set. So hopefully I will be able to. Thank you very much for joining me, everybody. Please put your comments in the box below. You know how much I love to talk about Funko Pops with you, and I am hoping to see you guys in the next one. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.